Um, what attracted me to the film and, and the role was, I think, this quietness that it had. Everything was sort of... I liked that the, the pace of the story, even when you'd read it, was quite um, slow and, and there was a lot of space and there was a lot of room to breathe. And I knew that that would be something that would just be really lovely to play with as an actor. And I liked that it wasn't sort of saturated with too much plot, too many characters, too much drama. Um, you really are just sort of following these people in their day-to-day -day life. Um, and they've been through an awful lot, but it's sort of about how they sort of gently find their way to one another and how they sort of, you know, as they go along, they, they figure out where they're at in their own life, I think. Um, but everything is at quite a gentle pace. And I really like the idea of um, of doing something like that. So I prepared for the role by writing notes. I tried to write some notes. I don't usually do that, but um, I'm not very good at it. But Francis um, really encouraged me to sort of come up with a backstory for the character. Um, because we sort of shifted the dates a little bit from what they were in real life, like when Charlotte was born and when they spent time in Lyme Regis. So that was all sort of like jiggled about a little bit and um, and so it gave me an opportunity to, to sort of create this life for her myself and um, so it meant that it, it was something that became quite personal and something that I was actually quite involved in earlier on. I also um, started to do piano lessons again which was lovely. I don't play but um, I had learned for a film a few years ago and I absolutely loved it and so I had a beautiful uh, Clara Schumann piece that I got to learn um, and I did that for about three months before we started so so I've just absolutely loved work with her and she's such a laugh and I think you know for both of us being involved in such a an intimate film and I had never I'd never done um like any lesbian scene before and I'd actually n never done a sex scene like that that was so kind of intense and, and full on and to get to do that to be able to do that with her um you do I did feel very very safe and sort of like we could um we could go anywhere with it and, and would still be sort of kept safe by just being with one another so yeah I love her yeah I honestly think it's just been by chance that I've ended up doing a lot of period films. I mean, so many period films get made. So the the majority of what you're kind of reading is set in the past. And I guess the reason why that happens is just because people have had time to actually absorb a story and really sort of like gain some perspective on it and see what sort of angle they want to take it from. Um, and so, yeah, they're the stories that come up the most. But really, you know, I think most people will say this, like you don't, I think one of the thing, one of the mistakes that you can make when you go into a period film is to treat it like it's a period film, um, because then you can just feel like you're sort of acting in a portrait and everything's really sort of stiff and not real. And so it's I think it's been important for me whenever I've done things that are set in the past to really kind of humanise them and and just make them as part of our world and our and how we are now as much as possible you know without ruining the sort of um mysticism that can come sometimes with period films but like i do think it's important to remember that the heart of any story is like it's a timeless thing so mother Ammonite. Beautiful. Don't want to go back to the life I had before you. What about my life? Ammonite no mezame.